Well, folks, this morning we're starting off with a little top water action. It's important to use a noisy bait when it's still dark outside. Work it kind of slow, get the bass a little time to track it down. Throwing a whopper plopper this morning, fair amount of noise. Work it slow. Fishing these canals like the stage off from the drop. When the sun starts coming up, they move up, start feeding up on perch and whatever bait fish they can get a hold of. Oh, there he is. Come up and hit it. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Good one. Hopefully, it'll shake the hook. Boy, fighting hard, too. Cool what size he is. Let's see you, brother. Good morning. How you doing? And that, folks, is how you get a top water strike first thing in the morning while it's still dark outside for the most part. Like a solid two and a half pound bass. One little hook out of them all those hooks, huh? How about that? How can't you like top water strikes? Let's see if you can't get another one. Swap of poppers, they don't come without an O ring since they don't have an O ring on the eye either. Bait is probably best to tie a loop knot to keep that bait from spinning. Every once in a while, pause it, let them catch up to it. Sounds. Oh, there's another one. Hell yeah, get you some of that first thing in the morning. Oh, he come off. Oh my goodness. The good thing is they biting. The reason why they're jumping off the hook because it's still dark. They try to key in on the sound, and when they're hitting it, they're not getting it completely in their mouth. And when they're coming up and they, hit, they actually do hit it, it's just getting barely caught up in the side of their face. So when they're jumping, they're slanging it very easily. You want to try to get as close to the bank as possible because you want to use the, the bank as sort of a, it sort of echoes the, the noise of the bait back, bounces it back, gives, it makes it a little easier for the fish to locate and key in on. Throw it in the open water, it has nothing to bounce back on the sound, you know, so you hardly ever see me throwing out in the middle when it's dark. Sometimes your whopper popper loses the sound, a good way to get it back. Take a look at the tail. It's got a little cup looking shape to it. You just want to take it and bend it into that shape every once in a while. And that'll give you the plopping noise back. Normally after the fish or two hits it, it's normal for it to lose its sound. Another little trick I do for when it's dark outside. Of course the glass rattle inside the bait. That's always a plus. Then you put the glass bead in between your bullet head and your hook. You create that clicking noise. They tend to key in on that pretty good. See if I can't get one on that crawfish after that. Switch over to a fluke, my go-to. Gotta remember, you can work the bait a lot, but just don't move it too far in the distance. Keep it in one spot, make a lot of noise. Give them time to key in on it. Throwing the crawfish right now, because I'm starting to see the crawfish stacks pop up along the bank, so that's telling me the crawfish are in the water. And that only means one thing, bass are eating the crawfish, so why not match the hatch? All I'm really doing is keeping a little slack in my line and popping that slack real quick. That way I'm not moving the bait too much, but I'm getting a lot of action out of it and a lot of, this, a lot of noise. It's kind of hard to stick with this crawfish, seeing all these activity coming up, all these fish coming up, blowing up on the minnows. Here he is. Get on, my goodness. See, I missed him at first, see. He had, although when he missed a waffle popper, he's still a fluke behind that to get him. Follow up, normally catch nine out of 10 times right there. There he is, come here, come on, come on, come on. He threw away going, I didn't need it. It is. Oh, come on, man. What the hell? <laughs> the struggle is real, as Doug would tell you. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah, got your ass that time, boy. Get your ass over here with your fluke. Get my fluke, boy. Oh, well, I'm not here. Give me all the trouble to catch you, boy. There you go. This is more than I'm hooking this morning for some reason. Well, we had a lot of action this morning. Had a lot of misses. Kind of figured since I'm helping Doug with his channel, it wouldn't be right if I'd miss a lot of fish. Because he's famous for him, the five pounder that got away. <laughs> Only thing is, I ain't jumping in the damn water to try to get him. It is, huh? How about that?
That's a Hallmark Ruger Root fish. Size and everything. Later.